Ayo, hey, what is poppin' poppers? In today's video, I'll be talking about the best pop of 2020. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so a couple days ago for me, but a couple weeks ago for you guys, I let you guys comment your favorite pops on my Instagram story, and then I took 32 of those pops and put them into a bracket. I did this exact video last year for 2019. Basically, I let you guys choose a bunch of your favorite pops that were released in 2019, and then I put them into a bracket. The difference is, last year I almost put, I believe, 60 different pops in the bracket, and it took way too long. So in this uh, this year, in today's video, I, will, I chose only 32 of the, uh, like I believe, 70 entries that I had on my story, and I put those into a bracket. It. There were so many entries and I really appreciate every single one of you guys who put an entry on my story. But like I said, it would be way too long if I did all 70 or 80 entries that were on my story. So I decided to narrow it down to 32. And the way that I narrowed it down from 80 entries to 32 was very, very easy. There were some pops that had variants that I just put on, uh, put the common version rather than the variant version. There were some pops that released at the end of 2019 and not actually in 2020. And there's some other pops that I just took out because they would get obliterated by some of the other pops in the votes. So here are the 32 entries. We have Vampire Krusty, then we have Baby Yoda Eating Frog, Cutie Corn, I Am Iron Man, Iron Man, Wonder Woman, uh, Super Saiyan God, Goku, Nightwing, Gelatinous Cube, Comic Book Guy, Michelangelo with Surfboard, Danny Phantom, Zombified Silver Surfer, uh, Ronald McDonald, Mayor McCheese, Spicy Udo's Blacklight Carnage, Bakugo, Carl and Ellie Movie Moment, uh, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, Jackbox, Beetlejuice, uh, Naruto Hokage, Peter Pan, Magneto Zombified, Mr. Compress, Young Ben, Mr. Potato Head, Target Exclusive, Dryon Toad, Sideshow Bob, Sully in his Halloween outfit as a vampire, and Casper the Ghost. And I have to say, these are some amazing entries, and like I said, it's gonna be super tough to see who wins this. So I have three different pops in mind that I think are gonna win today's video and have the title of the best pop of 2020. And those three pops are Zombified Silver Surfer, Bakugo, and possibly the Gelatinous Cube. And also Danny Phantom, because I feel like Danny Phantom is probably gonna win. A lot of people like Danny Phantom. And I'd also like to mention that I, this is a very, very small fraction of the Funko community. I only have about 2,300 followers on my Instagram. As of right now, when I'm filming this part of the video, there is currently 16 polls up on my Instagram story. Next time I see you guys, there should be only eight. All right, so it's the next day. We are currently on to round two. Lots of pops got eliminated the first round and a lot of pops I didn't expect to get eliminated did get eliminated. So let's talk about that. So first off, we have Vampire Krusty and The Child. The Child won obviously 57 to 43%. I kind of thought he would win. I didn't expect it to be that close though. Uh, but yeah, The Child ended up winning and moving on to the next round, which I definitely expected. Then we have I Am Iron Man, Iron Man, as well as Cutie Corn. Cutie Corn got smacked out of the park, 29% well, to 71%. I definitely knew I Am Iron Man was gonna win there. Uh, Cutie Corn's an amazing pop, an amazing figure. I really do like it a lot. But I Am Iron Man had a lot of hype this year, so I can definitely see how that won. Then we had Wonder Woman, New York City Comic Con exclusive versus uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. Uh, Super Saiyan God Goku lost 45 to 55%. It was very close there as well. I kind of figured Wonder Woman was going to win though. Then we had Nightwing versus Gelatinous Cube. Gelatinous Cube won 63 to 37%. I kind of thought he was going to win. I didn't know he was going to win by that much. So I hope he gets into the finals because that's a really awesome figure. Probably my favorite out of all of these. Then we had Michelangelo versus Comic Book Guy. Michelangelo lost 46 to 54%. That was a very close battle. I honestly thought Comic Book Guy was gonna sweep uh, Michelangelo out of the game, but uh, honestly, that was very, very close, 56 to 44. Or sorry, 54 to 46. Either way, it was really, really close. I didn't expect it to be that close. I thought it was gonna be like an 80 to 20 ratio. Then we have Danny Phantom versus Zombified Silver Surfer. Zombified Silver Surfer sadly lost 33 to 67%. I knew Danny Phantom was gonna win. Zombified Silver, Silver Surfer, I had lots of hope for. Uh, it was a really awesome figure, but against Danny Phantom, no doubt in mind, he was gonna lose. Then we had Ronald McDonald and Mayor McCheese. Mayor McCheese got absolutely destroyed, 71 to 29%. Honestly, I thought this was gonna happen. I knew Ronald McDonald would do well. Probably gonna end up in the finals. Then we had Spicy Oodles versus Carnage. Spicy Oodles lost 43 to 57%, which I'm also very sad about because Spicy Oodles is definitely another one of my favorite from this list of pops. So I'm kind of sad about that one, but Carnage is definitely a worthy uh, pop to win the title of best pop of 2020. Then we had Bakugo versus Mr. Compress. Mr. Compress lost 32 to 68%. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be a lot higher. I didn't know Mr. Compress would have that many votes, uh, but he did, so there you go. He lost though. <laughs> then we had Carl and Ellie versus uh, Beetlejuice. This is unfair. This was very unfair. 78 to 22%. I wanna see the exact number of votes. There was 350 people who voted for Carl and Ellie and 97 people who voted for Beetlejuice. Th there's no doubt in mind. Carl and Ellie was a great figure, probably gonna end up winning actually. Oh, the, you thought that was bad. Wait until you see this one. Mermaid Man versus Barnacle Boy. Mermaid Man won 83 to 17%. I want to see the votes on this one. Uh, okay, so 361 people voted, voted Mermaid Man and 76 people voted, uh, voted for Barnacle Boy. I, I, wow. Then we have Jackbox versus Naruto Hokage. Another big sweep. Jackbox won 69% nice to 31%. 
Then this was actually a very close battle. We had Peter Pan versus Zombified Magneto. Uh, Peter Pan won 52 to 48%. I actually thought Magneto was going to win. So I'm surprised about this one. Then we have another pretty close one, and that is Mr. Potato Head versus Young Ben. Young Ben lost 43 to 57%. Then we have one that I'm personally very sad about, and that is Jiraiya versus Sideshow Bob. I thought I had a lot more anime watchers on my Instagram, but I guess not, because Jiraiya ended up losing uh, 39 to uh, 61%, which I'm very surprised about. And then finally, we have Sully versus Casper, and this was another very close one, which I'm surprised about. I thought Sully would sweep this one, and it is 54 to 46%, which I'm surprised about. Honestly, there's lots of close battles this time around. We had lots of uh, people voting like you saw. There was almost like 400 people voting for each poll. So I appreciate all of you guys for uh, voting on my stories if you did vote. And there's also 600 viewers per story, which is a pretty big uh, number compared to my normal 400 or 300 that I get. So I'm, I just think the word's getting around that there's a whole voting thing going on in my story because I never got 600 uh, people watching my story prior to this. So I'm pretty surprised that there's actually 600 people watching and 400 people voting because like I said before this, I got like 300 viewers per story. So that's pretty awesome. Some, a lot of people voting so it's gonna be uh, a, a, a more input from the community I guess but yeah that's it for round two next time I see you guys it should be on to round three I'm surprised that a lot of those pops made it through it was a very close battle for some of those and I, yeah like I said next time I see you guys it'll be round three all right so we're back with round three and uh, yeah I have to say some things did surprise me in this round of votes but uh, yeah let's get right into it so starting off, we have the child versus Iron Man. The child got swept. I'm very surprised about this. I thought the child, the baby Yoda, would put up a good fight against Iron Man, but sadly he did not. It was 26 to 74 percent the final vote, so Iron Man moves on. Then we have a very close one, and I'm sad about this one, and that is Wonder Woman versus Gelatinous Cube. Gelatinous Cube lost 48 to 52 percent. I'm sad about this one because Gelatinous Cube is one of my favorite pops I released this year. I don't have it yet. I'm looking for it for a good price because it's, it's a very cool, detailed, really unique pop. And then we have Comic Book Guy versus Danny Phantom. I kind of want a Comic Book Guy to win, but of course he didn't because like I said earlier on, Danny Phantom is an amazing character and a lot of people do like him. So Danny Phantom won actually pretty close, 56 to 44%. Then we had Ronald McDonald versus Carnage. Carnage actually won 58 to 42 percent. I didn't really see a really a winner there. Uh, both of them are really awesome figures, so I didn't really expect a winner in that one. Like I didn't really have a predetermined person that I thought was gonna win. And the next one here is another one that I thought would put up a better fight than it did, and that is 34 to 66 percent for Bakugo versus Carl and Ellie. Bakugo lost. I'm surprised about that one. I thought it'd be more of like a 60 to 40 or maybe like a 50 50 kind of ish. Then we had Mermaid Man versus Jackbox. Jackbox lost 37 to 63%. I can see that one. Yeah, Mermaid Man was a very popular figure. A lot of people do like the SpongeBob pops, so that makes sense. Then we had Peter Pan versus Mr. Potato Head. Peter Pan lost 42 60%. I kind of thought Peter Pan was going to win there because it's a very cool figure. I do like that one a lot. My personal pick was Peter Pan over Mr. Potato Head just because of the uniqueness of the character and the amount of detail and effort put into it. But uh, yeah, Mr. Potato Head won because I guess he's like a classic. And then finally, we had Sideshow Bob versus Sully, another really close one, and that is 56 to 44% Sideshow Bob lost. This one, I kind of knew Sully was going to win. A lot of people do like the Disney and Pixar characters that I put up on my stories for these polls all the time. Even last year, a lot of them made it far in the rounds. Uh, but yeah, I could definitely see why Sully won against Sideshow Bob. Sideshow Bob's a really awesome figure, though. But yeah, that's it for round three. Lots of things I didn't expect actually to win. One, and they're moving on to the next round. So I'm excited to see what goes on in this next round. And uh, yeah, next time I see you, we'll be on to round four. All right, guys, we're on to round four. Lots of really awesome pops got knocked out here. It's a really a battle of the best here because a lot of these pops are, for the most part, seven out of eight of them. I would say, personally, for me, are some of my favorite pops that released this year. One of them, I would say, I don't really know. I didn't really expect it to make this far. There were some other ones I would have uh, rather seen in the top eight rather than uh, that specific one. That one being Black Light, Black Light Carnage. There's some other really awesome figures from the Black Light series that I would have preferred in this top eight rather than that one. Uh, but that's a really awesome figure still, and I can definitely see how I made it this far but without further ado let's talk about who moves on to the next round so first off iron man absolutely smacked wonder woman out of the park and iron man won 79 to 21 percent that really surprised me a lot then we had danny phantom versus carnage danny phantom won 53 to 47 percent that one surprised me actually a lot i thought danny phantom would be like it would i thought it would be like a 70 to 30 percent ratio not really a, a almost 50 50 practically then we had Carl and Ellie versus Mermaid Man. Mermaid Man lost 35 to 65%. I definitely saw that one coming. Uh, Carl and Ellie is a really awesome pop movie moment. And then finally, we have the closest one yet in today's video, and that is Sully versus Mr. Potato Head. And Sully won by 10 votes, so it was 51 to 49%. That was really surprising. I actually didn't expect Sully to make it this far, but he actually did, which I'm really surprised about. But yeah, those are the pops that made the top four for today's video. We have Danny Phantom, Iron Man, Sully, and Carl and Ellie. I'm excited to see who moves on to the finals. Uh, I'm, if I'm going to make a guess here, I'm going to say it's Iron Man and Carl and Ellie, I feel like.
All right, so we're currently on to round five. I thought I would switch up this scenery since I don't really do any other videos besides in my room in my house. So I thought I would do it in this setup. I guess, I don't know why, it's just a small portion of the video. I, to be honest, I had the ring light here and I was kind of lazy to bring it upstairs. But uh, yeah, here we are with the round five. So we are gonna get to see who moves on to the finals. So to start off, we have Iron Man versus Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom lost 32-70%. That I wasn't surprised about. Iron Man is an amazing figure. Dan Danny Phantom is another amazing figure. But Iron Man it has to be the better detailed and overall better character. And then we had Carl and Ellie and Sully. And I, this one, without a doubt, I kind of knew Carl and Ellie was going to win 69 to 31%. 69%, nice. Um, I, I thought it was going to be more, but uh, Sully put up a good fight. I'm actually surprised he even made it into the semifinals. So moving on to the finals, we have I am Iron Man, Iron Man, and Carl and Ellie movie moment. Next time I see you guys, we'll know who the winner is. Alrighty, so the finals are over, and the two finalists that we had were Carl and Ellie and also I am Iron Man, Iron Man. Uh, two really awesome pops that released this year. Lots of people liked them, and I can definitely see why they made the finals. But now we have an actual winner for the title of the best pop of 2020, according to you guys. And that is, drum roll please, I am Iron Man, Iron Man. And they, uh, Iron Man won 61 to 39%, which is no shock to me, pretty much. Because ever since Iron Man was in the first poll, I kind of figured he would either make it really far or probably end up winning. I can definitely see a similarity between the two characters that won 2019 and 2020, uh, of course being that they are both Marvel characters. So yeah, the best pop of 2020 according to you guys is I'm Iron Man, Iron Man, and I can definitely see why you guys voted that one to be the best pop of 2020. Really awesome character, really well done, awesome movie, awesome part of the movie. Good character, good pop, extremely well executed pop, extremely detailed pop, well done. It, it, overall, it's just a great character. There was lots of great candidates in today's video, especially some of my favorites would have to be Bakugo, Jelanus Q, and probably Iron Man. It was super difficult to see who would actually win. I had lots of different picks that I thought would win. Honestly, I thought Danny Phantom would win over Iron Man. I knew Iron Man would make it far, but I didn't know he would actually win. But it's really awesome to see that Iron Man actually won since it is one of my favorite pops from this year. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new here. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Peace.